Hi, I'm Paul Spicer with Oil Filtration Systems. I'm here at our 57,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Bernie, Texas to describe how to start up, run, and operate our vacuum dehydration oil purification system, the VDOPS. In an ideal situation, you would like to have the suction hose connected to a drain point or low point on the reservoir to give a good flooded inlet condition. Conversely, the outlet hose is best placed somewhere at the opposite end of the reservoir from the suction port and typically towards the top of the tank, but still below the oil level to mitigate any splashing, foaming, and aeration. To start up the system, first open the inlet and outlet valves on the vacuum dehydrator. Initially, the inlet gate valve should be open one and a half to two and a half turns, while the outlet valve should be in the fully open position. In a case where you do not have a good flooded inlet situation, opening the inlet gate valve completely is recommended. Next, close the vacuum adjustment valve completely to allow the unit to pull as much vacuum as possible to facilitate priming of the system with oil as quickly as possible. Next, supply power to the system and turn the main power disconnect to the on position. Check for phase failure. If the phase failure indicator remains illuminated, turn the phase reversal switch to the opposite setting. The phase failure indicator should no longer be on and the control power on light should now be illuminated. Once the control power indicator is illuminated, you can press the start button to begin running the system. If the VDOPS must overcome a challenging inlet condition or if you are dealing with a high viscosity gear oil, the low flow switch may cause the system to shut down before oil reaches the vacuum tower. If this occurs, press the stop reset button, then start button to run the system again. The flow of oil into the vacuum chamber is regulated with a float valve assembly, which will regulate itself as needed. The flow of oil out of the vacuum chamber is regulated by a variable frequency drive that can be adjusted with the pump motor speed control knob, also known as a potentiometer. At maximum frequency, the pump will run at the flow rate specified on the system nameplate. If an alarm occurs during startup or operation, check the specific alarm indicator and solve it using the troubleshooting section of the operator's manual. After fixing the problem, press the stop reset button and then press the start button to run the system again. Once you have established a steady flow of oil through the system, slowly open the air vent valve located on top of the particulate filter housing and bleed off the air inside. Be sure that a container is placed under the air vent valve while bleeding air as oil will come out after the air has been purged. Next, turn the heater switch to the on position. The heater is preset at 150 degrees Fahrenheit from the factory but the set point can be increased or decreased by pressing the scroll buttons on the temperature controller. Observe the system vacuum gauge. The system vacuum should be set between negative 18 and negative 26 inches of mercury. Adjustments to the vacuum can be made with the vacuum adjustment valve just above the gauge. These adjustments are gradual and do not respond quickly, so there will be a three to five second delay in results from any adjustments made. The VDOPS is now fully functioning. Normal system discharge pressure is between zero and 20 PSI, but can be higher with long and restricted discharge lines. Once the system is running, the inlet gate valve will be adjusted in order to help maintain a balanced oil flow and proper oil level halfway up the lower vacuum tower sight window. The VDOPS is equipped with a condensate sump for vacuum pump protection. During operation, the sump may or may not fill up with water. The majority of water removed during operation will be discharged through the vacuum pump's exhaust as a moist vapor. Once all adjustments are made and the system has been set up properly, VDOPS can be left to perform unattended with confidence. To shut the system down, first turn off the oil heater and let the unit continue to run for one to two minutes to let the heater coils cool down. Then, either close the inlet gate valve or shut off the supply of oil to the system from the reservoir. After shutting off the supply of oil to the machine, 
Oil should stop flowing into the vacuum tower almost immediately. Allow the VDOPs to continue running for approximately 30 seconds. Most of the residual oil in the system will be returned to the reservoir. Once the vacuum tower is completely drained, it should only take a few more seconds to return the remaining oil to the reservoir. Once the remaining oil has been returned to the reservoir, press the stop reset button and then turn off the main power disconnect. Then close all remaining open valves on the system and the reservoir. We look forward to working with you on creating a solution for your specific needs. Please visit oilfiltrationsystems.com for more information on our equipment, rentals, and services. Thank you for watching and have a safe day.